Harry Martinson got the Nobel Prize in 1974, catching the dew drop and reflecting the cosmos. It's about the, the, the smallest and the biggest. It was written in 1956, so rather soon after Second World War and soon after the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 1953, the Soviet Union had this uh, test with the hydrogen bomb and that was like the, the last impulse for him to, to, to start writing this. Through God and death and mystery we race on spaceship Anyara without goal or trace. Harry Martinson's Anyara consists of 103 poems and each one of them is, is like a, a big story. So obviously it has to be boiled down. My, my first idea was how can we deal with this? What if we, if we start to dig, doing like an archaeological search, what happened on board, what happened in history of mankind? And we have these small pieces and that's how I built up the dramaturgy for, for the composer who then takes it to the next level. But my, my work was basically to, to choose a few themes in this big, big epic poem that consists of everything. Man is best when he wishes good he cannot do, and stops breeding evil he easily can do. You, you can read in all his writings the deep concern for, for nature. He was talking about things that we now discovered became true, the, how we are destroying the world. He, he was talking about that all his, his life. It's a dark story, <laughs> but there is, if you want to see, there is also hope. We can change. The future of Earth is depending on us, because it's us who, who started this development where we are right now. And, and we can, man can make a change.